I'm Chris Kokalis with Pivot Cycles and we're here to talk about the new Pivot Shuttle EMTB. We wanted to really take a fully integrated approach with the new bike and, uh, and make sure every aspect of the bike handled that pro level rider. So we went with the new Shimano system and we went with a full carbon chassis on the bike. This is, uh, this is really a, a combination of, a, of some aspects of different pivot models. We have our pivot switchblade, which, um, which we unveiled last year as a 135, 150 millimeter travel bike um, that was plus and 29er capable. And the, the shuttle follows in those same footsteps, although the, the shuttle now gets 140 millimeters to travel, 150 adjustable to 160 in the front, and geometry has been revised um, totally from any of the other bikes in our lineup. One of the things that both the DW Link suspension design allowed us to do, along with the, the, um, the packaging of the Shimano motor, was to get the chain stays very short on the bicycle. I believe that the, uh, the shuttle has the shortest chain stays of any EMTB currently in the marketplace at sub 437 millimeters. We really developed from ground up. We didn't take linkages or parts from other designs in the pivot line. Everything's wider and burlier. Another thing that we did that's very unique to Pivot is last year we introduced Super Boost Plus. So that is the concept of having a 157 millimeter rear end, but not allowing the Q factor to go outboard. It gives us the ability to run the chain stay shorter and to have more tire clearance on the bike. And that goes right also to the durability of the wheels themselves. So we worked with DT Swiss on this new wheel system specifically for the shuttle. The uh, EB1550 wheel set is not a wheel set you'll see in DT Swiss's standard line. It's at the Super Boost 157 specification. And moving the flanges out on our Super Boost 157 rear hub allows for an increased spot angle and much stronger rear wheel. Add that, uh, we have the Recon 2.8 tires. We developed the new Silk Shield technology with uh, with Maxxis, it's something we've been working with them on for uh, a couple years now. We've basically got these reinforcement layers that, uh, that handles extreme terrain better and also the output of an e-bike better so that uh, the tires can, can take the type of forces and abuse that, uh, that you can put out on your EMTB. In addition to that, we've kept the seat tube really straight so that you can run the longer droppers on, on the bike. Um, pivots cable port system so that you have easy routing of everything, easy routing of the dropper, all our integrated frame protection. Um, on the carbon frame on the front triangle, we have different durometers of skid plate protection. So at the back end of the bike where you can really slam into rocks, we use a, a, a more durable, harder durometer. And at the front end, we use a softer durometer that allows you to take the rock hits without noise on the bike. The shuttle frame features the new Fox Float DPX2 um, tuned specifically for the EMTB application. So we've got a little bit firmer mid-stroke compression damping, keeps things settled down. We match that up with a 29er Fox 36 fork, um, 180 millimeter post mounts at the front and the back. Everything's really designed and developed to be able to handle these higher loads that come, um, come with an EMTB. One of the things that's really most unique about the shuttle is how we integrated the battery system into the frame. So what we've done is we worked with Shimano and taken the, um, the external battery design and actually replaced some of the front bracketry on it and mounted it to our own carbon fiber bottom casing on the frame. And so this, this allows the entire battery to be housed in this tray and easily slide up and in, in into the frame. The frame features automotive quality gaskets all the way around so that your lighting indicator is accessible from the top and your battery charging port is accessible from the side so you do not need to remove the battery in order to charge those and at the same time if you do carry a second battery or if you uh, if you need to remove the battery for charging off the bike it's uh, it's really easy to access the cover and take the battery out run a second battery and replace it um, the the mechanism for that goes to the motor all, always remains intact and you can still get the battery and slide it out in a vertical um, 
way instead of uh, in, instead of the side loading mechanism that's typical with the with the other style battery mount from Shimano. Um, as you can see, it makes for a really nice compact design. It allows us also to do um, a small frame as well with the integrated battery. It's sometimes difficult to package everything in, but with the shuttle, we were able to achieve, achieve small, medium, large, and extra large. We're able to package it all in an incredibly stiff, lightweight chassis. So um, weight-wise, that's one of the things we're most proud of as well. So this is the standard build that will come on the new Pivot Shuttle. The complete bike comes in at 19.9 kilos. That should put it among the lightest, if not the lightest e-bike in the marketplace. Pivot's hollow core internal molding process is really what allows us to achieve these light weights and high stiffness to strength ratios. So you get a chassis that when you open the, the down tube port, you can see it's as clean on the inside as it is on the outside. Um, everything is fully integrated in the motor and everything is on the chassis is nice and wide, burly and sturdy, but at the same time can be optimized for the lightest weight possible. One of the things that was most important to us is that we have a very quiet bicycle. So the way the cable rounding comes through the inside, the way the motor fits in, and then I talked about those automotive quality gaskets. Well, there's also the similar type thing running through the sides of the battery mount. And basically having maximum rigidity and a very rattle-free package was among the top priorities. We want this bike to last from year to year. And when you close all the ports and lock it all down and put this bike together, it's a uh, um, well, it's akin to the, like an AMG Mercedes or an M series BMW and that you have that nice solid feeling from the chassis. It's, uh, it's something that you're not going to feel rattling over the terrain and uh, it's possibly the quiet, because of the, the heavier weight down low, it's possibly the quietest bike in our, in our lineup. It just feels um, and sounds super nice on the trail and when you have a quiet bike, got a better experience and everything with the pivot sizes, the bearing sizes, and then the way we've integrated this whole package just makes for uh, a really solid, quiet, and lightweight chassis um, that can uh, really allow the rider to take their riding to the next level.